Dear students, welcome to Naresh IT. I am making one more video which is based on the percentages. In the last two videos, we went with basic numerical ability questions and unitary based questions. So, I just collected some of the questions which are based on percentages and this is for sure an expected question in ISET. So, repeatedly I have seen this model question in the previous papers. That is nothing but the questions which are based on the concept of successive percentage. So, please remember this concept. Whenever we have A percentage increase and B percentage increase in a successive pattern, the overall increase is always given as A plus B plus AB by 100 percentage. That is a formula of successive percentage. You can apply successive percentage formula wherever you see the repeated increases or repeated decreases. So, or otherwise you can apply successive percentage formula wherever you see the terms available in the form of a product. Let us assume area is there. What is area? Length into breadth. Length increase, breadth increase will be given. They will ask what is the change in area. Because length and their breadth are available in the form of product, you can apply successive percentage there. So, mostly how the questions which are based on successive percentage, please observe the question number 1. The length and breadth of a rectangle is increased by 20 percentage each. What is the percentage change in area of a rectangle? What is the formula for area? Area is nothing but length into breadth. Length into breadth is indicating area. What is the increase in length? 20 percentage is an increase in length. 20 percentage is an increase in breadth. The overall increase will be given as, remember the formula. What is the formula? A plus B plus AB by 100 percentage. 20 percentage increase, 20 percentage increase. The net increase will be given as 20 plus 20 plus 20 into 20 divided by 100. So, that will be the overall increase in the value. So, that is nothing but 20 plus 20 is giving a result as 40. 40 plus 4 is giving a result as 44. The percentage increase in area will be given as 44 percentage. Let us have a glance on the question number 2. If the radius of a circle is increased by 10 percentage, what is the percentage increase in area of a circle? What is the area of the circle we have to know first? Area of a circle is nothing but pi r square. What is happening to the radius? Radius is increased by 10 percentage. So, what is pi r square? Can I write like this? Pi is a constant value. There is no effect because of that. And we have radius into radius. What is the increase in radius? 10 percentage is an increase in radius. 10 percentage is an increase in radius happening successively for two times. The net increase will be given as 10 plus 10 plus 10 into 10 divided by 100. That is nothing but the net increase will be equal to 20 plus 1, 20 plus 1, that is nothing but 21 percentage. Mark your answer choice as option B. Look at the next question on the screen. The length of a rectangle is increased by 20 percentage and breadth is increased by 30 percentage. What is the percentage increase in area? I already told you whenever you have a repeated increases or otherwise terms in product, you can apply successive percentage. 20 percentage is an increase in length. 30 percentage is an increase in breadth. The net increase will be given as 20 plus 30 plus 20 into 30 divided by 100. 20 plus 30 plus 20 into 30 divided by 100. So, what is this value? 20 plus 30 is nothing but 50. 20 into 30 by 100 is giving a result as 6. 50 plus 6 is giving a result as 56 percentage. Mark your answer choice as option B. Look at the question number 4. The price and consumption of a product is increases and then decreases by 25 percentage and 20 percentage. Find the percentage change in expenditure. What is the formula for expenditure? Expenditure is given as price into consumption. What is the price increase? Price is increased by 25 percentage. Consumption is decreased by 20 percentage. Previous questions are talking about increase and increase only. Here we are able to see increase and decrease. How to deal with that is, please remember only one thing. Increase replace with a plus sign, decrease replace with a minus sign. If it is A percentage increase, B percentage decrease, your formula will be A minus B minus AB by 100 because plus into minus is minus. The same logic I am using here, 25 is a increase plus 25, 20 is a decrease minus 20 minus 25 into 20 divided by 100. This is a overall net increase or decrease on the area. So, finding this value 25 minus 20 is going to be 5. So, 20, 0, 0 gets cancelled. This is giving a result as minus 5. Plus 5 minus 5 is giving a result as 0. 0 percentage is a change. That means there is no change in the expenditure. Last question, question number 5. 
if a man wages is increased by 10 percentage afterwards it's decreased by 10 percentage what is the net change in the wages is a question that means 10 this is happening repeatedly 10 percentage is a increase 10 percentage is a decrease the net increase or decrease will be given as plus 10 minus 10 minus 10 into 10 divided by 100 that is giving a result as minus 1 percentage what is minus indicates decrease so you can say your answer choice is 1 percentage decrease so i hope you are able to understand the concept just have a glance on three practice questions look at those practice questions solve and mention the comments below practice question number 1 practice question number 2 practice question number 3 so please solve these practice questions put your answer choices in the comment box Thank you so much. Don't forget to subscribe Naresh IT channel. Share with your friends so that it would be helpful for the students who are planning for ICED exam.